I'm Grant Curtis, and we're on stage 27 on the Sony Pictures lot in beautiful Culver City. We're filming our final battle sequence for Spider-Man 3. And as you can see as you look around, there's a massive amount of electricity that goes into filming a scene like this. At the push of a button, Bill Pope needs to be able to light any light that he needs to on set. The blue screen needs to go away. A New York City backdrop needs to come down. The elevator needs to come up from the first floor to the fourth floor. It's all electronic and it's all on winches and motors. And to do that, we have to pump in a massive amount of electricity. Let's go up another 40 feet, 80 feet up in the air, up in the perms for a tour. My name is Frank Dorowski. I'm the electrical rigging gaffer on Spider-Man 3. We're up high on stage 27. It's about 80 feet in the air above the construction set. Well, we have about 160 lights pulling approximately about 12,000 amps of power. I'm going to hang up here until you uh, hang out up here until you tell me if that intensity looks better. Copy. I should know here in just a minute. I'm uh, Ziggy Padone, and I do uh, electrical rigging on Spider-Man 3. Uh, my name's Christian Killingsworth. I do electrical rigging. Renzo Bartolotta, rigging as well. Every lamp has its own lead, and so uh, so many hundred lamps, so many leads that have to come up here, get circuited to the lamp, numbered individually, dropped 80 feet down the wall as we call the waterfall. This big massive cable, the waterfall is the same thing, only going down the wall, it goes out a mouse hole to our dimmer rack. Every lamp's got two or 300 feet of cable at 100 feet per, so when we wrap these things up, 100 feet is a good 100 pounds of cable, just 100 foot length, and so there's a lot of cable up here, a lot. There are all of the, uh, the cables coming down from the waterfall that we showed you upstairs. What this does is it keeps it cooler, keeps it closer up against the wall so people have room for their equipment also. We're inside the dimmer room outside stage 27, and the dimmers control all the lighting up top. If you look around us, we have cable everywhere. Everything's labeled and numbered so we can trace it out in case of a problem. That's it for today. I hope you had fun with Frank and his guys. Please join us on the website next week for another informative and entertaining webisode.